President, yeah. could you discuss some of the recent public <laughs> accounts of <clears throat> of CIA activities in South Vietnam, particularly the stories of, or reports of how the CIA has undertaken certain independent operations. They're independent of other elements of the American government that are in South Vietnam. Uh, the fact of the matter is that Mr. McCone uh, sits in the National Security Council. I imagine I see him at least three or four times a week, ordinarily. Uh, we uh, have uh, worked very closely together in the National Security Council in the last two months attempting to meet the problems we faced in uh, South Vietnam. I can find nothing and I've looked through the record very carefully over the last nine months and I could go back further to indicate that the CIA has done anything but support policy. It does not create policy, it attempts to execute it in those areas where it has competence and responsibility. I know that the transfer of Mr. John Richardson, who's a very dedicated public servant, has led to surmises, but uh, the, uh, I can just assure you flatly that uh, the CIA has not carried out independent activities, but has operated under close control of the Director of Central Intelligence, operating under the, with the cooperation of the National Security Council and under my instructions. So uh, I think that while the CIA may have made mistakes, as we all do on different occasions, and has had many successes, which uh, may go unheralded, in my opinion in this case, it's unfair. Uh, to uh, charge them uh, as they have been charged. I think they've done a good job. Uh, former head of the CIA, Alan Dulles, says in an interview in the Journal of America today that reports of disputes between the CIA and the State Department and various branches of the government in South Vietnam have arisen because, quote, of a lack of a clear-cut operational policy in Washington. And he goes on to say that he thinks what's needed is less backbiting between U.S. agency officials in view of the defense you just gave of CIA, would you care to uh, agree with Dulles' charge or contest it? I'd agree with the last uh, part of it, that, that the agencies, as we all know, were faced with a very difficult uh, problem in South Vietnam, which we're all familiar with, both on the military and the political side. Men have different views about what actions we should take, and they talk to members of the press, to all of you, in Saigon, here in Washington. But I must say that as of today, and I think this is particularly true since General Taylor and Secretary McNamara came back. I know of no disagreement uh, between the State Department at the top, CIA at the top, Defense at the top, White House, and uh, Ambassador Lodge on what our basic policies will be and what steps we will take to implement it. Now, if down below there's disagreement, I think in part it will be because they're not wholly informed of what actions we're taking. Some of them are necessarily confidential, but uh, I think our policy Though I, we can't say what it, effect it's going to have, I think we are in agreement of what we, about what we ought to do. I would think that uh, Saigon and personnel in the various agencies should support that policy because that's the policy we're going to carry out for a while.